All right, how's it going everybody? We've been super busy with life and we have not had a lot of time to make videos lately. What we have today is something from Whale Spot, which the boy and I built something a little bit more advanced not too long ago if you search our channel. Today, we have the Whale Spot B3 Pro package. And what I love about WhalesBot is that they do have a quick start guide. And then there's your parts breakdown there. But the thing I really love is the cases that they send everything in. We do have a user manual. This is kind of like a sample build, the little guy on the motorcycle, which I think we're going to go ahead and build him today. Dad already kind of read through it. It does look pretty simple. They're really, you don't need an app for this particular kit. You can work out of the books. And then there's inspiring inventions. So this is like a story, which is kind of cool because you follow the story. It tells you what project, what parts you need to build the project. And you go through and it's kind of like, you go ahead and start building it. And it's like a children's storybook. Take out the coding pen. So we're probably going to build the simple whale spot 24 in one the sample project first because that gets us used to building this particular kit. And then there's also the Wales Amusement Park, which is a totally different project. And then the Forest Adventures. Nice. So they give you three project books, which I think is really, really neat. So we're gonna take our time, kids. There does not appear to be any batteries required. Everything is a rechargeable battery. So there is an actual USB port. So here's your basic module. Comes with your controller, okay? We're gonna start unpackaging all this stuff. Here's your USB cable they give you to charge, so you'll need a USB adapter to plug into your wall connector. And then this is going to be step one. There's USB ports, one's for charging, or you could charge or power another accessory like a head or some other device. So these are expandable. Hi, I'm a little whale. Ooh. Okay, so it already is has a charge. The little whale is already, so we're gonna shut him off again. Power off. Power off. Okay. And then this has a power button. So our controller is already powered. And then it also has a Bluetooth sync. So you're actually gonna sync to it. Hold it by, push the button. We're gonna power that off. Okay, so that's powered off. And let's just take a little bit of time to unpackage everything. I love the box because one thing with kids' toys is that you don't have storage and you just end up with a lot of clutter. So it's nice that we can put things away. If we want, when we're done, we can put all our books in there. We can dismantle this thing. Um, I would number it's other than you put the head on. Yeah, maybe. We'll look at the book and we'll find out. All right, so we are on to step one already, okay? So dad's gonna kind of hang on to some of these projects. So your big brother can probably help you. So you need this. I don't know what this is. Uh, it's like an axle or sometimes it joins. This is something you haven't quite seen before. Just take your time and line it up. There we go. There we go, you just gotta line it up. Good job. Okay. So one of their other projects was actually all the instructions were on an app, which is okay. But for me, dad is kind of a dinosaur, so it's hard to get used to such a thing. So it is nice to have a book because sometimes you just get tired of the screens, right? Yeah. So we have two of these. Maybe you can help her, buddy. Okay, so you have those two. So in the picture, you're gonna face your power buttons towards you, and then one here and one there. There you go. Yeah, put them on one at a time right next to each other, baby. Nice. I do like that this particular model feels very stout for a young child to work with. So sometimes the more intricate things get, Okay, so now you're going to use those. Okay. 
like. Let her do the other side. Moving along. Excellent. Okay. So now, looks like this guy with the wire is going to go right there. Okay. So that's our little wire. I'm going to remove the rubber band now so that it doesn't seem to want to get in our way. It doesn't show us where exactly the wire is going to route. We'll figure it out. Uh, okay, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. This side? Yep. Other way. Facing out. There you go. Okay. So now, two of these. Doesn't leave a lot of room for this table. Maybe Dad will try. Oh, okay. All right. So I'll put it. I'll pull it up here. It goes here, right there. Right here. Mm-hmm. Push. I think you got it. No, it goes up here. Yeah, we got it. It's good. And then you have this little cable here. In the instruction, it doesn't really show. So I think you have to use your brain a little bit and figure out what's going to go where. We're going to go ahead and just connect that cable for now. Okay. All right, so now we need two of these. All right, so we're moving along. So this is going to go under here. I'll go ahead and do that. And then this one, you're going to put one right here. There you go. And then there's another one directly underneath here. That goes together. It actually very, it fits very well. Okay. Next page. It shows that she's very interested in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're gonna find one of these and then one of these. Okay, so we, we did, sometimes it's hard to tell. It's okay to go back because the next step tells you where you made a mistake. No, maybe not. It goes right there, there you go. It's kind of hard because we have the book a little bit further away from us. Make sure you line them up. It's okay. Just give her a little guidance. She really wants to do it, which is good. But I don't know if I plug this in the right spot or not. It may need to plug in up here. I'm not sure. That might be another cable because you have a port here. Okay. Which we'll figure that out in a little bit. I didn't see any indicator yet. So there's his head. And it looks like his head, that's actually a motor. His oh. head is going to turn. Because you look at it and it looked like a light gray to me, but it actually they want the dark gray ones. Because yeah. these look super long. But you know what? It's not a big deal. We can just do this. And exchange them. We'll exchange them. It's hard to tell because they're not numbered. Yeah. Nah, sometimes there's a size indicator, but let's do one at a time. That's just going to do this. And we are in here. Okay, so now you put your yellow cap on there and then we'll fix the other ones. Go ahead. It's like a hub, like a hub cap. It doesn't really tell you which length, so we'll have to figure it out. I think that, okay, and then that is going to go, okay. So now you're going to push this one all the way through and line it through the middle hole. You can see what I'm doing? Okay, so push it all the way through. 
job. Okay, and that holds it upright. So, so that's pretty cool. What do you think? You like it? Yeah, it it's cool. really a neat thing. So that's what it looks like. We're all done. Yeah. So let's let's turn him on. There's a power button on the back. Hi, I'm a little whale. He's a little whale. Or she. Or it. I don't know. Okay, so we'll get all of our little coding things. Pairing successful. Pairing successful. There you go. Okay, so we're paired, right? Paired. Okay. So, let's look at all of our little codes. I don't think we want to do the numbers yet because it might drive right off the table. But, there is a backward one. So let's try and see. You try. Backward. Oh. Okay. Backward. Okay. Woo, okay. Let's make it, what does this do? Green? Turn control light green. Oh, okay, so the, the little light on the bottom turned green. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, I did. So that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh. The, that's I don't awesome. know why that's so exciting. Yeah, the light's already blue. But... Turn control light blue. Okay. Yeah, that's so, right. yeah. so I think these are uh, steps. You go forward five or forward car sound. Let's set it up just like it is in the Where's book. Where's the green yet? These? Uh, the green light's there somewhere. There's a lot going on here. Okay, so let's let's try start. Because I think this is the start of your program if you were to do it. And then I don't know what repeat start is. And then there's going to be a forward. And then we're going to do, instead of the car, let's just do a trumpet sound. Okay. And then let's do a backward. Let's just throw his head in there for fun. Start program. Start repeat forever. Turn controller light green. <laughs> Forward. Backward. Start motor and repeat. Let's hit the arrow on your controller and see what happens. Repeat it forever. Run program. That's our program. So it just keeps going, because it does repeat and Yeah. And then if you hit the square, I think it'll stop, baby. Stop program. There, there we go. go. Is that cool? Very nice. Really neat. So use those uh, circles, run and stop. Yeah. Oh yeah. Stop program. Okay. So you could do run and stop, and I think it'll do the same program. Load all these. And then just push that, and then when you want it to stop, stop that. So there's a lot of possibilities, right? Yeah. Start program. Start repeat forever. Turn controller light green. Forward. Turn left. Turn right. Reverse motor. Backward. Backward. Start motor. And repeat. And then hit. you could hit the arrow or try this. Run program. Okay, so that'll run the program without hitting the button. Pretty cool. So you stopped it, right? So let's add some things. We'll do some sounds. Okay, so hit all those and then hit these and then start it. Start program. Start repeat forever. Turn controller light green. Forward. Turn left. Forward. Turn controller light blue. Turn controller light blue. Turn controller light red. Wait. Hit this. Turn right. 
reverse motor backward start motor and repeat okay now go ahead and hit play or you could use the remote run program <laughs> so it just keeps doing it over and over again. That's pretty cool. And you can stop it when it decides it wants to go out of control. Now you're hitting play again. Hit, hit the square. Stop. There you go.